Hello friends, today we are going to learn about sex chromosome and sex determination. So we know that there are two categories of chromosomes. These are sex chromosome which are fewer in number like in diploid organism a pair of sex chromosome is present and the other is autosomes. Rules of inheritance that we have seen is actually the rules for the autosomes. C. McClung postulated X element. E. B. Wilson coined the term X chromosome. Most of the animals and plants show sexual dimorphism. It means in these animals and plants, individuals are either male or female. Now chromosomal basis of sex determination, there are four systems for the chromosomal basis of sex determination. First is XY system, example humans. Here female has a pair of X chromosome, so female are homomorphic and male has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So male are heteromorphic. XO system grasshopper. Here female has a pair of X chromosome and male has only one X chromosome. ZW system example birds. Here female has one Z and one W chromosome. So female is heteromorphic and male has a pair of Z chromosome. So male are homomorphic. Haplodiploid, example bees. Here female are diploid, both the queen and workers and male are haploid. So here sex chromosome is not involved in the determination of sex. Now let us see sex determination in humans. In the body cells of human, 46 chromosomes are present. 22 pairs of autosomes and 2 sex chromosomes. Humans show sexual dimorphism. That is individuals are either female or male. In the female, there are a pair of X chromosome present. These are identical, so female is homomorphic. In male, one X and one Y chromosome is present. These are non-identical, so male is heteromorphic. Y chromosome is shorter than X chromosome. Female is homogametic. In meiosis, pairing of X chromosome takes place. Then they segregate. And half of the egg has X chromosome. Other half of the egg also has X chromosome. So, female is known as homogametic. In male, one X and Y, one Y chromosome pairs during meiosis, then they segregate, half of the sperm receives X chromosome and half receives Y chromosome. So male are heterogametic. Now let us see the pairing of X and Y chromosome in detail in male during meiosis. During the meiosis, the pairing of the X and Y chromosome takes place. We know that Y chromosome is shorter than the X chromosome and the hom homology is not seen along the entire length of the X and Y chromosome. So pairing does not take place along the entire length but end to end. The homology is seen in the tip of the shorter arms. These are known as the major pseudo autosomal region. These are 2.6 megabase pairs. Also, homology is seen in the tip of the longer arm of X and Y chromosome known as the minor pseudo-autosomal region that is 320 kilobase pairs. But during the meiosis, synapsis and crossing over is restricted to this major pseudo-autosomal region which is homologous. But synapsis and crossing over is not compulsory in the male in the minor pseudo autosomal region. So the pairing and crossing over takes place in this major pseudo autosomal region. So the genes that are present in these regions are not completely linked to the other genes that are present in the 
X and Y chromosome respectively. So the genes in these regions are known as the partially or incompletely linked genes. And these do not show X-linked and Y-linked pattern of inheritance. There are regions which are non-homologous, which are also known as the differential region. Here the genes present shows complete linkage or here the genes that are present are completely linked because no synapses and crossing over takes place in these regions. So these genes or the genes that are present in the non-homologous region are known as the completely sex-linked genes and these genes shows the X-linked and Y-linked pattern of inheritance. We will discuss about sex-linked genes separately under the topic sex-linked inheritance later. Individuals with a Y chromosome develop as male irrespective of number of X chromosome they have or number of X chromosome that is present and individuals without a Y chromosome always develop as females. Now let us see the function or role of Y chromosome in male development. On short arm of Y chromosome, sex determining region Y, SRY is located. It encodes for testis determining factor which induces functional testis. So there are enough evidence that suggest that SRY gene is both necessary and sufficient for the testis development but according to the recent evidence at least one other gene is present for sex determination or at least one other sex determining gene is present. When SRY gene is expressed in somatic cells of developing gonad, it causes it to differentiate into Sertoli cells which is supporting cells of testis and this Sertoli cells then help to induce other somatic cell in gonad to become Leydig cells. These lady cells secrete testosterone which is male sex hormone and it induces male secondary sexual character. In female only X chromosome is present and here the pathway that is responsible for the development of the female sex organs and secondary sexual characters is known as default pathway. In this default pathway, in the absence of the SRY gene expression, cortex of undifferentiated gonad develops into ovary. Also in the absence of this SRY gene expression, supporting cells become follicle cells instead of Sertoli cells. Other somatic cells become theca cells instead of Leydig cells and these secrete estrogen which is female sex hormone and this female sex hormone is responsible for the development of the secondary sexual character in female. Now let us see genic balance theory of sex determination in Drosophila which is fruit fly. In Drosophila Females have XX chromosome and males have XY chromosome. But the mechanism of sex determination in Drosophila is different from mammals. In 1921, Kelvin Bridges suggested that sex in Drosophila is determined by the ratio of X chromosome to autosomal sets or set of autosomes. Let us discuss this genetic balance system for sex determination in Drosophila. When number of X chromosome is 3 and number of autosomal sets is 2, then the XA ratio is 1.5 and the sex is meta female. When number of chromos X chromosome is 2, number of autosomal sets 2, XA ratio is 1 and the sex is female. Number of X chromosome 1, number of autosomal sets 1, XA ratio 1, sex female. Number of X chromosome 2, number of 
autosomal sets 3 xa ratio 0 0.67 sex is intersex number of x chromosome 1 number of autosomal sets 2 then the xa ratio is 0 0.5 and the sex is male number of x chromosome 1 number of autosomal sets 3 xa ratio 0 0.33 then the sex is beta male. In normal diploid male, two autosomal sets and XY chromosome is present and in normal diploid female, two autosomal sets and XX chromosome is present. Factors for the development of male are present on autosomes and factor for the female development or which determines the development of female are present on X chromosome. In the X chromosome, sex switch gene is present. This sex switch gene directs the female development. When the sex switch gene is on, then it directs the female development. And if sex switch gene is off, then it directs the male development. This sex switch gene is regulated by other genes present on X chromosome and autosomes. Y chromosome that is present in male has no role in the determination of sex but it is required for the fertility of the male in Drosophila. So this is all for today's video. In the next video we will discuss about sex linked inheritance. If you like this video please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.